Hey, welcome back everyone, General Tony here, coming back with a brand new COC episode and I had a 12 hour sleep since yesterday's last video and I feel like my energy has come back and of course we can start to pump out the videos once again, two videos a day, every single day on the channel, so make sure to subscribe if this is the first time you are seeing us. So basically, over the last couple of days, I have been keeping a very close eye on the, uh, the Supercell forums, on the COC Twitter page and all their other social media and believe Believe it or not guys, they have been giving us quite a few hints that the next update that will definitely of course be coming out is gonna be maybe one of the biggest we have ever seen within the game. Now obviously, I don't quite not know what's gonna be inside of the update just yet, but I can give you some clues from all of the hints that Supercell have been giving us. So I've never done this before and I'm not sure if it actually works, but you know what, we may as well give it a go. What I've done is I have added Clash of Clans Twitter page in the title of this episode, so hopefully all of the feedback that you guys, the daily average players, leave in that comment section will be directed towards their Twitter page and maybe they can, you know, see some of your comments. So what we're going to talk about, we are going to quickly run over the tweets that they have been sending out to us, the, uh, the viewers, and all of the hidden hints that I believe are telling us what's going to be in the next update. So we're going to get straight into that. I would just like to say though, before we do get right into this episode, we've just hit 650,000 subscribers on this channel, on the General Tony YouTube channel. And I would just like to say thank you. Please do not forget we are giving away $250. The giveaway is going to end on Monday, this Monday. If you do want the chance to win, all you need to do is leave a like right now on this video just to show some support to the channel. Make sure you subscribe to the channel right now now to stay up to date with the videos and of course the giveaways. Now we are going to do a face cam, we are going to do a challenge on Monday and we are also going to give away the $250 live so make sure you stay tuned. We're not going to waste any more time, let's just get straight into the actual uh, the little hidden tweets that Supercell has been sending out. So I wouldn't really say they're hidden, they are directed straight at us and I'm sure they are trying to give us, you know, a clue as to what's going to be in the next update. So this was one of the most interesting ones and they actually tweeted this just three hours ago off of the COC official Twitter page. So they tweeted, what is the most common weakness you see in defense layouts and how would you fix it? So Supercell are basically asking us whether we want to see, you know, maybe some new defenses added into the game, maybe some new traps added into the game or maybe even some more walls. I think they're actually hinting at all three because I was watching Galadon's videos and obviously Galadon is very good in terms of contact with uh, with Supercell. He was talking about level 12 walls being added into the game and also a new defense being added into the game but he didn't mention new traps. Now we haven't had a new trap since Halloween October 2014. That is, is it October 2014? Yeah, October 2014. So it's been well over a year. In fact, I think we're closing in on two years since we received the last trap and that was the skeleton trap. So here's what I'm going to ask you guys. We're going to, we're not going to talk about defenses too much. We're not even going to talk about new level walls. We're going to talk about new traps because new traps, they're very diverse, very different to anything we usually get within the game in terms of updates. So if I was to ask you guys, if you could only have one new trap, what would it be? Make it realistic, make it original and try and make it fit within the game. Hopefully you guys can comment it down below. As I said, I will tag Supercell or COC in the title of this video. Hopefully they see it and maybe come and check it out. If you were to ask me, Tony, what one trap would you like to see in the game? I honestly wouldn't be able to tell you because I just have such a vast amount of ideas. And to be to be real with you guys, obviously, if they do add a new trap into the game, there's most likely only going to be one. But it's got to be something game changing and it's definitely got to be something which can, you know, combat those mass kind of troops that are used in the higher Town Hall levels, especially at Town Hall level 11 with the miners, with the bowlers. Even with the miners, the miners are completely different because they do go underground, they can just avoid 90% of the traps at some times. They can avoid the spring traps, the big bombs, even the little bombs. So the miners are very different in, in comparison to the other troops. So maybe we need a trap which can, you know, combat all of the troops and not just focus on one or the other. Okay, so now we're going to move into the tricky kind of uh, the subject which a lot of people get touchy on. So obviously we just hit 650,000 subs on the channel and obviously the guys that watch these videos every single day, you, yeah, I'm speaking to you, you guys who watch every single day, obviously probably play the game every single day. Now the majority of you, if I was to put you into a category, I would say the majority are Town Hall 7 to Town Hall 9. We have some Town Hall 10s and of course we have even fewer Town Hall 11s. But what would you say... 
If Supercell was to add a new trap, but it was only for Town Hall 10 and Town Hall 11, would that annoy you? Would that really pee you off? And would you love to see the trap come into the game at Town Hall 7? Then, you know, maybe you get a couple more at Town Hall 8, Town Hall 9, Town Hall 10, Town Hall 11, etc, etc. Or would you rather see them, uh, you know, see the new traps at Town Hall 10, Town Hall 11? Because Town Hall 7 is pretty balanced, I believe. I think Town Hall 8 is quite balanced as well. Town Hall 9 is perhaps the most perfected Town Hall inside of the game, or at least it was when I was Town Hall 9. Town Hall 10 gets a little bit unfair because the, uh, the offense is way too powerful for the defense. And Town Hall 11 is just unbelievable. Town Hall 11s are getting three starred on a daily basis, even if they're completely maxed out. At the start of this episode, I told you all that I'd been watching Clash of Clans social media for a couple of days and that there were a variety of different hints. Now, if I just go back onto their Twitter page, they actually posted a tweet from August 7th. So it was almost two weeks ago from today, two weeks ago tomorrow. They posted a tweet and the tweet was this. Traps can greatly, so they're talking about traps here. Traps can greatly improve the effectiveness of a villager's defense if properly placed. What are your top tips for trap placement? So they're trying to ask you guys once again, trying to interact with you, asking you what you do with your traps, where you place them, and I have a feeling that they are going to be adding a new trap into the game. So if you haven't already and you do have an awesome trap idea, please comment it down below. As I said, the Supercell, uh, the COC actual Twitter page is hopefully, I'm not sure if I've done it correctly, but hopefully it is linked in the title of this episode. And we are now one of the biggest COC YouTubers out there. So I'm hoping that they're going to watch the video anyway and maybe get some great ideas from you guys, the COC community. Moving away from traps, I think we've discussed traps pretty decently inside of this video and we're going to move towards the actual defensive building. So, so far we haven't had a single hint as to what the building is going to be. Although if you have been actually uh, watching some of Galadon's episode, he was talking about them adding some new uh, kind of splash damage defenses, I believe, into the game. Now I'm guessing by the way he was talking that they're going to be more powerful than the wizard towers and the mortars maybe even combined and this is going to be a completely different defense now i have no idea what it could be it could be like maybe 20 arch imagine if they had an archer tower but with 20 archers on top of the tower that would be hilarious i doubt it's going to be that but once again let me know down below what are your thoughts as to new defenses don't forget the new defense said by supercell themselves is specifically created and going to be added into the game to attack those mass troops. So we're talking about mass bowlers, mass miners, mass valkyries, maybe even mass hog riders. You never know, maybe even mass barbarians and mass archers at the lower town hall levels. Of course, there is no information to say that this defense is only going to be for higher town hall levels. You never know, we could maybe get one, two or even three or four of them added into the game. And if there are going to be four or five of them, then I'm likely to think that we would be receiving them at the Town Hall 7, maybe even Town Hall 6 sort of level. So the last thing to cover inside of this episode in terms of update that will most likely be coming in the next update, which by the way, according to uh, some sources out there, is going to be between, I believe, the 8th and the 16th of September. However, I could be wrong. Don't, don't, you know, don't go by me. I'm just kind of like going what I've heard from other external sources, which I don't really think are connected to Supercell. But anyway, that's what I heard the second week of September. So the other thing that was maybe possibly going to come I doubt it will though inside of this update anyway as I think they've got a lot to cover already but we have heard rumors of level 12 walls but of course that will only be for Town Hall level 11 and my guess is going to be that they're going to be white and gold because that is going to go along with the Town Hall 11 theme. So that's going to pretty much cap off the update information that we have uh, you know heard of and been hinted to us by Supercell on their you know their Twitter page. If you do want to see any tweets and all their other tweets please make sure to go over and check them out guys. I do occasionally look on the forums as well but it just doesn't really seem to be as active as, as the rest of their social media so don't forget if you have any other update ideas then please as usual feel free to leave them down below this is probably going to be the perfect episode to do so as hopefully uh, we've got the Supercell, you know, the COC Twitter page tagged in the title. And I really am hoping that for the first time ever possibly they could come over and check out the episode. And of course, look at all your comments down below. So I'm going to try and reply to as many of you as I can. Now, this is how it's going to work, guys. Obviously, there's probably going to be about 2,000 comments down below because this video is going to be seen by a lot of you. Now, if you see any comments that you actually like, please just take a second out of your time. Drop a like on that comment so that I can see it and that any of you know maybe these supercell officials can see that comment if it's something cool like a new defense a new trap which sounds awesome and would really work within the game then drop a like on it leave a comment and i will come over and check it out 
So we are going to end this episode here. Now, there will be a second video coming out in approximately, I would say, four to five, maybe six or seven hours time. Just stay tuned to the channel. It is the final clan war. We are about to hit level 10. I will be going in for some live attacks, and I will be covering all the awesome attack strategies inside of the next episode. So make sure you stay tuned if you're channel 7, 8, 9, 10, and of course, channel 11. This is going to be one of the biggest episodes we have ever done on the channel. As I said yesterday, there are three ways to complete this game, in my opinion opinion first one is reach 5,000 trophies we done that we got the 5,007 second one is to of course become a level 10 clan we are about to do that tonight and the third one is to max out your base completely max town hall 11 i am working on that so i will see you shortly have a great weekend guys love you all peace out by the way thank you for 650k subs